Hello everyone and welcome to what's going to be hopefully a um, new series. I've kind of been neglecting YouTube a bit recently. I haven't had a proper upload schedule for a couple of years now. So I'm kind of going to make this into a new series that hopefully I regularly upload. Now I'm going to give you a little bit of background on the series. Um, if you're not interested or uh, this is like not the first video of this series you've watched, if this is one you've come back to, um, then I will leave a um, timestamp either just below or in the description. So for those of you who are still here and don't know, my current goal in World of Tanks is to three mark everything in the game. So all of the tier 10s, all the way down to all of the tier 5s, both premiums, tech tree, everything like that. And I've slowly been working through this now over on Twitch for the last couple of years. Um, I've already marked over 100 tanks, so if there are any in this series that are kind of missing and you're like, why haven't you done this or why haven't you done that or you've already 3 marked this, why haven't I seen it? It's because I've already done it and unfortunately the footage of that is already long gone, so I can't go back and do it. But I have still got several hundred tanks left to do that hopefully means there is plenty more content and many, many years worth of content to come. On, on this series if it does do well. So uh, these videos are going to showcase the last one or two games before I mark each of the tanks. Uh, it will be a Twitch highlight, um, but I'm going to kind of uh, edit them a bit more, so polish them up a bit, do voiceovers if I feel I need to add context, skip through bits where it's kind of like boring and not a lot's going on, um, just to try and give you guys a more polished finished product i'm also going to do like ratings at the end of the videos so um it will be from uh one to five stars hopefully if i'm good at editing they will have appeared above my head just then um for how good i think the tank is overall uh how easy i found it personally to mark it and how enjoyable the experience of marking it was now i know those last two kind of sound similar but they definitely can be completely different a tank can be easy to mark but it can definitely not be enjoyable and vice versa as well. Now, I know there are several players that are much, much, much better at the game than me and can mark tanks a lot more easily than I can, are probably a lot quicker at marking tanks than I am, but hopefully that kind of gives these videos a little bit more of a niche as someone who's not some sort of marking god like Daki or Skill or someone like that, and it will um, show what a slightly more normal player, normal player, goes through when it comes to marking these tanks. Some of them, I'll find easy and I won't put my, too much into. Some you'll see like the relief at the end after I actually finally get it done. So just to give you guys a good idea. Now, as I said before, I'm going to try and upload these videos uh, roughly once a week. Um, but I'm going to try and have a couple of videos like already pre-made and done so that if I am busy, I can still upload and I'm not creating uh, like big gaps on the channel mainly to try and you know get a regular audience grow the channel a bit because i do feel like i've neglected youtube for a long time now and i do want to grow my youtube channel and i feel like growing the channel will also help grow twitch and vice versa you know there will be a hopefully a positive feedback loop so with that with that i hope you guys enjoy um please let me know what you think of the video style in the comments uh let me know if you have any suggestions um obviously if you do have suggestions it may take a couple of videos to implement them just purely because if i've got like a backlog of videos it might go in in a couple's time and make sure you subscribe if you are new to the channel and give the videos likes if you do enjoy them but without further ado let's hop into the video Starting the game at just over 94% on the marks, we've landed ourselves on Serene Coast in a tier 10 game. There are tier 10 light tanks in the game, which means um, hopefully we can benefit from that from some early spots. But because it is tier 10, there are tier 10s, tier 9s, we do need to be extremely careful in the Scorpion G, it having a relatively low amount of hit points and obviously no armor. Our first goal in this game should be to try and at least retain the mark. That is what I'm thinking going into it. So to start with, I'm going to play a fairly passive opening in the kind of uh, H6 position, um, hoping that we get some spots and I can get some early shots into kind of C slash D9 to give us a nice base of damage to work off for the rest of the game. Thank you. 
We try and prioritize the enemy light tank first early on to make our own light tanks job a little easier. Knowing that I'm going to get spotted, I make sure I hug the rock and don't allow the enemies the chance to shoot. Did my shell get there first, or did his? I don't know if mine would have hit, then his would have hit. If we pause for a moment and take a look at the map, we can see that I need to relocate. The enemy team are pushing up with a 50 and 60 TP towards 9-0. They could also be supported by the IS-3, T-28 and 114. We have had a batch out wide, but he is now starting to fall back, which only leaves us with the AAT and the CC. If I can provide some long range support, making sure that I stay unspotted, it gives us a nice good opportunity to do more damage. And the K7 slash 8 position is probably gonna be our best bet. like this. So we let we let him commit, then we shoot him. Oh shit, we've all of a sudden started winning. To invested. <laughs> How do you think I feel, ma'am? I'm spotted, I'm fucked. With the game now swinging back in the enemy team's favour, I am purely focusing on getting the marks at this point. I think at this point we are about seven hours in um, to trying to get the Scorpion mark. It's not the first time I've tried to mark the Scorpion as well. So from now on, you're probably going to see some questionable plays just purely trying to get the mark. Me too, but and an, an, until, it's, until it's points on the board, I don't count it.
Oh. I think we're okay. I mean, arguably, as long as the mark mod is correct, we're one shot away from marking it, and I'm on full HP. I would like to think, unless I do something very, 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 very drastically wrong. Which, I mean, again, it's me, so it's not beyond the realms of possibility. I should be able to trade my life for at least one shot's worth of damage, surely. Secure the mark. Okay, don't secure the mark. I hope. Hopefully we've got... We, we have a blind. Say GG. On the point limit. That's my. I think that's my best game so far in the Scorpion. Yep, best game so far in the Scorpion, and it, and it came on, Halens, uh, two enemy tanks at least one tier higher whilst playing a tank destroyer. Sorry, two tiers higher. Two enemy tanks, two tiers higher, whilst playing a TD. 2.7 is actually really good. 60% uh, win rate is good. How many games overall in the Scorpion now? No, it must be nearly 500. Oh, 499. Now, moving on to the ratings for the Scorpion G. Um, I am just going to talk through quickly what we're going to be rating the tank on, as this is the first video, video doing this. I'm going to try not to waffle, but it is me, so I can't promise anything. So I'm going to be marking the tanks on overall tank rating, ease of marking, and marking experience. So the overall tank rating is what I personally think the tank is out of five. So zero stars to five stars. Ease of marking is going to be how difficult it was for me personally. So if it's really difficult to mark, it's going to be a one star. If it was really easy to mark, it's going to be a five star. And that's going to be based on my personal experience. So I'm kind of going from everything from like the Cavalier and some of the really easy like tier fives and some of the easy tech tree tanks all the way to like I think the hardest mark I've personally done to date so far was the Brask. So the Brask would be a one star or even a zero star and the um, easiest tanks would be five stars. So that's kind of where we're going with this. So starting off with overall tank rating, I'm going to give the Scorpion a four out of five, four out of five stars. It's a good tank. It does what it does very, very well. Lightly armor TD, sniper, decent, really good mobility, sorry. Next to no armor, which can be an issue. The, the reason it doesn't get a five for me is because it's probably the best at what it does, but what it does is not my kind of gameplay. I don't like lightly armor TDs. I was kind of between a three and a four, but I gave it a four because I do respect how good of a tank it is at what it does. Now, ease of marking, I've actually gone for two stars. Quite a difficult mark for me personally. 
Again, I think that is mainly due to the fact that I struggle with lightly armored TDs. I'm a very aggressive player at heart. And I mean, this video didn't show it because when I got to the last bit, I, I was physically like saying to myself, I need to sit back. I need to make sure I'm not going too hard too soon and dying at the start of the game and dropping a full percent. Because at this point in the mark, we'd already tried, I think it was twice to get the marks on the Scorpion. We hadn't managed it. I'd played a couple of hundred games in, in comparison. And I think even at this point in this specific stream, we were seven hours in. So yeah, not too great. I do struggle with lightly armored TDs a bit. So that, that is reflected in the rating. Also for the marking experience rating, I've also gone for two stars. Again, personally, not a massive fan of lightly armored TDs. I struggle with the the style of gameplay more than anything else. I find that I play too aggressive. I find it's way too easy to lose way too big of a percentage um, when you're aiming for about two and a half to 3,000 damage. But anyway, that's all she wrote for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Like I said before, let me know in the comments what you kind of think of this new style of video. Let me know if you would recommend any improvements or anything like that. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.